negotiators from the governor's office, the state house, and the state senate have reached tentative agreement on a new budget for the state of Oklahoma. This is a budget that has been fraught with problems over the last several months. There's been discussion of how the state is looking at a $1.3 billion revenue hole and what would they do to fill this hole. There was talk of new taxes and other uh, mechanisms to fill it. Ultimately, they managed to do some tax uh, reform that reduced some of the tax breaks that are out there. They're going to use some road bond money. They're going to use some rainy day fund money and they're putting together a budget that will hold harmless key areas such as common education and health care Medicaid. These were two areas of major concern. The state's been through a couple of revenue shortfalls that have forced cutbacks already and there was concern in the education community that there could be required uh, teacher layoffs, four-day school weeks and other problems if, if they didn't get uh, the, basically the same amount of money that they're getting now. It looks like they're gonna have that level so th those uh, hard choices will not be necessary right away. And in the Medicaid field there was concern that provider rate cuts as high as 25 percent could be necessitated if sufficient money wasn't provided. Now what we're told is that money will be there and any rate cuts to Medicaid providers would be negligible. That's a big deal because there was talk if, if a big a rate cut went through that way that the whole Medicaid system could be destabilized. Looks like that's not going to happen. In other words, crisis somewhat averted on the uh, budget out here at the state capitol. We're about three days short of finishing and they'll be moving bills through now to, to make this budget a reality.